Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, let's excuse the noise in the background so you can just hoovering up the living room. Ben made a mess this morning with his biscuits. So anyway, yeah, so for today's vlog it is a small Tesco shopping haul. It's like a little top up shop basically because that lasts us until um, weekend when we do our main shop. But we actually spent £78 at Tesco's. We thought we got it just wasn't worth it because when you get close to like LD and um, Lidl and all those sort of budget places. But anyway, yes, hope you enjoyed the haul. I think quite, I think it was quite, uh, expensive as well because we got quite a lot of, um, it wasn't actually a lot, we got some gluten-free things for Ben. Obviously the gluten-free is expensive, but anyway, hope you enjoy the shopping haul. So yeah, as you can see, everything fits on the table. Like I said, it wasn't a lot, being honest, if it really wasn't. Anyway, yes, I see if we've got eight, these mirror yogurt sales on eight for three pounds. I thought it was a really, really good offer. Again, I'll have them as well. And we'll see if we're taking fat lunch and them to work. We, this was an impulse buy. He wasn't actually going to plan on getting these, nothing like that. But it seems as well as enough, he might as well. I bought myself some twinings. I know these are their breakfast tea bags, but I do love my twinings. And these, again, are off with the club car price for three pounds. Original price of them was six pounds. So I technically got them for half price. Obviously got some Oreo ice cream and some dairy milk ice cream. Again, they were only £2.75 with this Tesco um, club car things. I think that's where Tesco's get you as well with all the offers on all the club car things. Obviously got some of these Alpra soya oh, um, yogurts for Ben there. Strawberry and banana. Again, we're trying them with a lactose-free diet as well. And he absolutely loved these, apparently. Must be. They're quite, they look quite big actually. Again, they're quite low as well. 4%, 3% fat, 2% saturated trees. Only problem is it's low in sugar, so it's quite high in sugar. There's obviously 2% in salt. That's the problem, is it? If they're low in fat, they tend to be quite high in sugar. There's no balance between them or nothing like that. Obviously, Stephen's got himself some square crisps. Obviously, these are for work. And you put some of these in these dot cronuts, which look nice, don't they? They have two, two there for £1.50. He's got some of the fill pasta here for his lunch. These are actually new as well, these blissfuls. These were Belgian milk, chocolate, caramels. They do do um, another one as well. I think that's one they did, because just put these in. Obviously, got some gluten free fish fillets here for them. Um, they were about £3, I think they were. Again, I wish LD did all the budget places or did more gluten free stuff and then what probably need to go down to Tesco's and get so much. Obviously got some vinegar as well because when we have chips see because we've got no vinegar. Got see even also put this up this seven veg tomato sauce to go on top of his pasta. I got myself an orange twelve. But he got, got a couple of yogurts here for Sammy to last him rest of the week for school. Got some of the flora light butter. What size is that one? I think that's a uh, five hundred yeah 500 gram obviously we use the flora again it's um okay because believe it or not if you change it sam is oh you got different butter so they say, say that you just tend to have much butter anyway obviously got some alpha bites for the kids even better because they're gluten free so ben can have them got some bananas again for for ben for school because was in the cupboard they've gone all manky and horrible got some drink for us got some fanta and a bottle of coca-cola got sammy's sauce there for his ice cream got some chicken tonight stuff so, because i'm having chicken tonight with rice so I'm, i'll do that in a minute i'll make a pop hopefully fingers crossed i'll try and do a vlog of me doing that as well for my channel got some rice as well for dinner got some of these for you these dairy milk oranges what they look pretty good I can't, I can't think how much they were actually I have a look at the receipt in a minute obviously got some chicken as well obviously for chicken tonight got some custard creams for me I love my custard creams again it's really basic it's not a little custard creams dunk in my tea got some of these strawberry comb things for Ben and see what I like about Tesco's is they actually do gluten free wheat free milk free and also egg free in quite a lot of their products so they'll be ideal for him obviously we've also got this from the cocoa snaps for his cereal in the mornings then he absolutely loves those he did like to go free from cereal but that's gone up to new three pound a box it's just crazy price of cereal okay got two packets of pond bear crisps for him obviously he takes a packet to school with him for his snacks Sammy's got his buttons back. We finally finished the Christmas chocolate yesterday, so promise Sammy can have some buttons. Got some rinse day stuff here for the wash uh, for the dishwasher. 
the TV book here for, for next week about the Mars Singer of Secrets. So I do love the Mars Singer. I've got some two baked potatoes with smoked bacon. I've got these for my lunch. And again, they were only £2 the club card offers as well. got some food bags here, obviously, from the kids take their bits and pieces to school and also Stephen's pack lunch. got some of these home-baked chip things. These, are, again, really nice. One thing I like about them is they're actually supporting Family Fund. They're a really, really good charity if you've got children with additional needs. These um, cornish wafers, some cream eggs and some caddy, well, food caddy bags. So, yeah, so that is it for our small Tesco shop. Yes, hope you enjoyed that. And also, don't forget, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And then I'll see you on Tuesday from my next, no, sorry, on Sunday from my next vlog. Bye, everyone.